Hello, Internet. I don't know if you can hear me too well. I will need your input from this stream to let me know whether or not my shit is configured correctly. So, without further ado, I'm... You're gonna hear me? Hello? Yeah, okay, we're good. Cool. Alright, so, yes. And, as promised in the previous stream, we are moving into Dead Space yet again. We're going in for night two. Uh, in the last episode, uh, or stream, or however you're catching it right now, uh, we basically went our way through the uh, medical compound aspect of the uh, USG Ishimura, and we found ourselves a paddle, you know, defibrillator, as well as uh, some thermite, and we created ourselves plastic explosives. We blow our way into the next room, uh, which I believe is some kind of medical testing facility. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not too happy about that one myself. And, uh, yeah, so, with that being said, <laughs> I present to you Night 2 of Dead Space. Let us begin. Oh, yeah, that's right, I was using a controller last time, because the keyboard controls are garbo. <laughs> I was actually just duct taping a uh, microphone together, which, uh, you know, please let me know in the uh, chat how that is going. The body parts are going around. Ooh, sorry about that. The chat is not up. Let's balance this control this way. Sorry, Isaac. Alright. Oh, that would explain that. That is nowhere near what it needs to be. Let's get rid of you real quick. Give me two seconds, folks. We'll get that going here. Do do. Ba bow. And you're good. Move you on over to. Oh. Move you all over here. Booyah. Excellent. And now. So, got the level 2 suit because I've been feeling that, that like something's going to go terribly, terribly wrong and I'm going to need this help. We got ourselves a little big ass monster slicing weapon. <coughs> the Ishibara Clinic. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship-wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening! These wounds... We are not equipped to deal with this... God! Get him to the table! Hold him! Nurse, you hold him down! Christ. Every corner... That was Nicole, right? Yeah. I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, this guy shares the same sentiments as me. Excellent. Yes, fuck this ship. You, sir, have got it wrong. Seriously. You know, it's, it's, it, it's, okay, it, it's one thing that I, it's coming right for me, you know, that, that, that's one thing, that, that's one thing I can deal with. Like, uh, when there's like, random pipes getting knocked around, you know, stuff like that. Um, I mean, you know, stuff like that, it's like pipes getting knocked around, and, and, Freaking, you hear the breathing. It's, it's the unknown.
yeah, yeah, seriously, like this, and like, small shout out to like, Korean horror films. Because that's like, American horror films and stuff, whatever, I've watched them, I've watched as many as I possibly can, I've sought out other American horror films, <laughs> whatever. But then there's, like, Korean horror films. Japanese, like Asian horror films in general. It's like they don't really do, they don't really do the jump scares. They just wait. And you know, they don't show you any of that. Rarely if ever. And then you see a little bit of something every now and again. And it's like okay, okay did I did I I, I don't oh, oxygen recharge, that's an open. But it's like, did I just, did I just see like a little, you know, little girl in the background or something? Like, no way. You know, whatever. Like, uh, if it's still on Netflix, uh, yeah, me and Cinder have watched this a couple times now, more than a couple times. Uh, it's called White. This is Korean horror film. And like, the first time I watched it, it was, it was, it was unsettling. And it's a movie about K-pop stars. What is up? Mr. Hype himself, Absolute White, how you doing tonight, brother? I'm just talking about, uh, Korean, Korean horror films. Bump up my voice or down the main audio? Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that heads up. Uh, that is something I actually, uh, was, I duct taped a, um, um, oh, basically I duct taped a microphone together, one of my old ones, uh, so I get a lot less of that, like, high-end distortion, so, um, this is the technical stream, and, uh, you know, making sure that the, that the tech works and stuff, uh, I don't want it to be too, too loud, just in case I start screaming like, a well, like an idiot, uh, which is, is prone, is prone to happen with this game, alright, cool. Let's move this mouse pointer off. That's everything. Everything better on the uh, on the audio front there. Shoot me a shoot me a yay yay if it is. All right, let's freaking do this. Oh, that's just fucking lovely. Is that other that other door's locked? I have to go here. Here we go. <laughs> Scary little baby faced bastards are. But you're scary ass. Excellent. Very, very glad to very glad to get starting the stream all hype and stuff like yeah I'm Billy Badass with my like super line gun and, and stuff but this game if I remember it from back in the day it has a way of kind of breaking down that false sense of security especially with these assholes I, I, I mean when I'm only, I've only seen like two and a half types of different right, we're gonna go man mode here Actually, I need to be able to hear something in the house, just in case. Good day. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come to me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait... I know you. You're oh, Harris, oh, the prisoner oh, from the colony. Oh, you killed that nurse. Piss off, dude. Help. Piss off. Am I helping? Stop playing the audio.
Jackson, Thomas, Lucas, Sarah, James, Caitlin, Kai, Joshua, Cody, Kyle, Gianna Faith. It is a destructo disc. Yeah, come to think of it. Uh, Gianna Faith, Jack Williamson, Agatha Marjorie. The, these are all just newborns on the ship. Okay. Start a look look over the shoulder counter there, White. <laughs> I know you do. Alright, literally, okay, look. Look, to to justify my scared ass here, so basically I'm hearing this Basically it's pitch black outside of the monitors right now, okay? It's pitch black except for these monitors. So with this bright light right in front of me, I have no other lights on, so I could bear I'm seeing glare from the monitors. I can barely see this room. It's a tiny room, okay, with the lowest ceilings in the house, um, windows, but I've got the blinds down, and a door at the very corner completely out of my periphery whatsoever. So if I hear something, and, 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 and or if I start feeling feels, I mean, I'm like, what the shit? What the hell? <laughs> what? You who <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 No. No, no, no. Oh, text log, wonderful. Science log from Dr. Kine T, Chief Science Officer. Attention, Captain Matthias, Matthias B. Benjamin, further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the, the planet for a day or two. You know, I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency driven, given the events in the colony. But that's why I ask, what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Scalario and Whalen to planet side to get their observations. Terrence. Alright. Still doesn't make that right. I mean, still. I mean,. Nothing's gonna make that right. But okay. Yes. I'm saving like a madman here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know it's locked, but... What the lighting change? Oh, look! Here's something on the ground. Oh, hey! Hell no! Uh-uh! Uh, no sir! Audio log, perfect. Uh, uh, yeah, play, play me the audio. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm 
hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Oops, sorry about that. That was probably stupid loud. Sorry, folks. Earphones coming off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta break the immersion a little bit. That whispering shit. That's for the birds, man. Screw that. I saw you talk. You got no. Man, I hate morgues in real life, man. Something literally skull fucked him. Broke through the eyeball, punctured the socket, hit his frontal lobe, and killed him. Beautiful. 
Hey, another power note, thank god. Got a medical pack, I'm going to be needing them more and more. I do remember when this came out, somebody actually started busting these ciphers. I'll have to look that up later. Somebody actually did start busting through these ciphers and figuring them out. And it was some weird shit. He like pointed them to a website or something. I, I don't remember all the all the details on that, but it was a nice touch. I, I remember that. Not the bad touch that people's skulls are getting here apparently. Just like what happened to Low Tier God. Egg freaking exactly. <laughs> he got he got skull fucked by uh by Viscont. <laughs> Bad with words. And with fighters on the street. Yeah, I don't even care if it wastes ammo. I'm seriously chopping up everybody I see now. This is not right. The flying sacks of stingray crap. So not right what they're doing to the corpses and in turn doing to me. Everybody's getting chopped up. This is like there's any percent runs and then there's body percent. I'm doing a body percent run in this space. One of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Yay! But yeah, for your, um, we could do a taco percent run on the horror game. That way. <laughs> It'll be even harder to control the bowels. So that'll be like a, a high stakes type of stream. <laughs> Alright, got a flamethrower, pulse rounds. And I said I could sell the... Um, gold semiconductor for credits, so... Yeah. So that's cool, I'm glad I can, I'm glad I can do that. Um, Hydrazine Industrial Torch. I don't know, if I've got to cut them up to kill them? I don't know. I don't know so much about a flame, like how useful flamethrower. I know how fun a flamethrower would be, but I don't know how useful it's going to be. So, you know what? Flamethrowers are fun. Yes, I'm going to buy you. I'll absolutely buy you. I don't know what kind of ammo you take or anything, but I'm going to buy it. Uh, looks like we got plenty of ammo. There we 
Yeah. 125 rounds. Those will be 125 rounds well spent. All right. Please just be glitched ah! in physics. He's a fish. I'm going to have two fish. Two fish. Make him fish. Alright, fine. We have fun. For reals. Alright, we're gonna go. I think we're going to engineering. Intensive care cleared. Amps of flog and lovely. You've got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Right. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Okay, then. And while you're just sitting on the captain's chair, twiddling your thumbs and playing with your rectum, I will go do this thing for you. What happened to the chick that was with him? Like, I, I remember last stream, she got, like, cornered by one of them, but apparently they quarantined and they're fine now, but... Ocadian? Machine shop, gotcha. I wonder if there's anything new in the store yet, or do I have to get schematics for literally everything? Nah, I do have to get- okay, I have to get schematics for literally everything from here on out, so okay. Good to know, good to know. Flame fuel, excellent. Vending machines in space! Oh, great. Personal log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet open, since my captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers, started coming back. Changed. Coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Well, I'm going to assume you didn't get very far in this. Yeah, he has flippers. Crush everything. Crush it all. Alright. Deck log. Oh, from a deceased man. Gotcha. Don't know what's going on around here. Someone said the ship's been attacked. Who the hell would attack us out here? First the captain dies, now we get attacked. Carmack says someone on bridge staff killed him. Can't believe that. Goddamn chaos now. Can't get through to the bridge. Can't get through to anyone. Everyone's running. Getting the hell out of here. Probably should join them. Yeah, you probably should have. Because apparently running well, running didn't seem to do much good whatsoever, so. Lo siento. Do not pass go. Alright. Okay. 
I'm thinking probably gonna want to dump another point in the there's a note to that circuit, so oh, wow, okay, so you really gotta, you gotta upgrade. Alright, we're gonna upgrade the capacity. We're gonna make that, we're gonna make that flamethrower a beast for late game. So I can't just burn them to death. Preferably close. Where are you going? Okay. Yep, this is where I need to go. Kinesis modules and something were pretty frequently common for the people of this crew. I, I'm cool with that. Yep. You know, I... There we go. Alright. happened in the span of like I don't know like five no because we seriously we got here crash landed I've been through three different 
tiers of this ship to find that audio log, and we hit orbital decay, so... All this seriously happened in the span of maybe like seven to eight hours at the most? Or did they remedy at that time and... I don't, even, I don't even know. Will you explain something? Ooh, Ripper. Nice. So we got we got gas. We got gas. The game's pacing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Just like Charles Barkley in the 90s, Isaac just told me to shut up and go. And I need stasis packs. I'm not probably negatively to my play. I'm not really using it. Punk! <laughs> Just realized, sorry about that. Chat's kind of cut off there. There we go. Here's looking at you, chat. I'm looking out for you. Alright, you know what? 
this point. Those things I have no qualms with killing with fire. Those things, they haven't covered this one. We are descending into the belly of the beast, apparently. Mandatory decontamination. Okay. I have to go through decontamination before accessing the Doubtful that the decontamination systems are still online. Or if they are, hopefully they will uh, work in my favor. Oops. Yeah, I really need to turn that on. This is Temple. Now the centrifuge is offline. We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. Yeah, definitely, White. The, the sound... Like... The sound and just the atmosphere... This... <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere of this game... Is... Pretty redonk, I like. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, let's dump another point in the I'm not gonna see any immediate benefit from that. So. Probably bump up the capacity here, especially okay, especially the line gun. Add another bullet to it. I will dump more stasis nodes into the. Uh, right. We'll dump more nodes into the flamethrower for the.
Oh yeah, super long hallways. Marked ever so slightly. With a walkway above my head, okay. Obstruction detected, no shit. Alright. They're not gonna come let me get a power node for free, are they? I mean, I'd like it if they did. Please. Out of spaces. 
What the 
piss was that? Are you for real? God. I'm out of here. Screw this ship. Screw this whole entire ship. This poor excuse for a mining colony ship. I don't don't even care anymore. You know what? Like my like maybe alive, maybe dead girlfriend or whatever can go to hell with this ship and everything on it. Like zombies with like claws and shit. I mean whatever. But I'm fighting giant plants now. They're like little Super Metroid like point markers for, for where I can hit them. Kill it. We're gonna go the damage, capacity, and duration route. Me, I ran for it, and Hammond just... He just disappeared. Kendra? Where are you? Nice to see you're alive and well, Hammond. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them moving outside, but I don't think they know I'm in here. I can launch into everything from here. I hacked the route and found some reports from the colony. Even before they cracked the planet, the colonists were experiencing widespread dementia. It seems to be related to some artifact they found on the planet. Something called the Marker. I'll keep looking. I've got your location and I'm going to unlock the door to fuel storage. You can get to the engine chamber from there. Keyed in. Okay. Got it. Alright, there's the river. A remote industrial saw. Yeah, I'm in. Sell that gold semiconductor. Sell one of the stasis packs. Wait, how's it I'm able to sell my flame? Thrower for fifteen five, then I buy it for eleven. Probably because it's loaded. All right, I'm a, I've got one large medic pack. Let's go ahead and buy a medium. I no, can't. Oh yeah, you can only buy smalls for now. All right, let's, let's sell that. take that. Oh, this is so disorienting.
myself and with all the other shit going on it's obvious this is sabotage i'm heading for the bridge and then i need to find elizabeth i gotta get her off this ship it's not safe okay okay so here's the introduction to the sticky stuff you can't run in Engineering lab, Danbury C. QMAP. Organic growth and engineering update. The, the unidentified growth seen in other parts of the ship has now reached engineering. I don't know what the hell this stuff is. Looks like someone threw up their guts all over the walls, but it's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already in the engine spoke, if, and if we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll hit the main chamber by the day after tomorrow. I hope the docks are looking into it because it's way beyond me. Alright. So, got these growths. They're wild. Got wild growths. I should be able to reload this thing to right now. To full. Just gonna make sure I'm loaded on everything, to be honest. Fully anticipating that. Med pack. 
It's working. We're online and functional. Finally, some good news. Get a tram to the bridge, Isaac. I'm gonna take us back into a jail station. Wait, wait, we're not safe yet. The ship's asteroid defense system is offline. On the way up, the ship's going to pass through a debris field thrown up from the planet crack. We'll be ripped to pieces unless you restart it. God damn it. I'll start working on it from here. Isaac, meet me at the bridge. You can do more good here than I can. Okay. Captain Isaac to the rescue, I guess. I thought I was just some kind of engineer, but... Well, I guess to repair the uh, asteroid defense system. I guess an engineer would be useful, her figure. Ah oh, yes, suspenseful strings, that's exactly. Totally not even looking behind me right now. Go to hell. Isaac. Isaac, where are you? It's me. Nicole. Still alive? I haven't run into a single actual living person this whole time. What makes her so super that she's still alive? Or is she? What the fuck was that? Yeah, let's drop off the schematic. Ah, oh, wait, wait, Fixing it up so I can, well, hopefully, ideally get the hell out of here. Alright, we're on the bridge. Which he quotes. Isaac, come in. Kendra's right. The ADS is completely shot. I'll need your help to fix this. Of course. Kendra, if you can hear me, see if you can get into the ship's reports. It sounds like you have better access from there. When were you going to tell us about the artifact, Hammond? This marker? I don't know anything about that. It's referenced in the captain's records. They brought it up from the planet. It's on the ship? In cargo. They think it's of alien origin, but I don't know what the hell it is. Really? CEC didn't know anything about it. You're lying. Back up! I am not the bad guy here. Or I'll shake you right now. You're gonna have to trust that I don't know anything about it. <laughs> We've entered the debris field. Get to the captain's nest. I'll explain everything later. Hammer him down. Okay. All right. So the relic. He totally knows something. It's always the guy in charge. Who brought you there? Knows exactly what's happening. And he will shit all over you. To, like, cover it or whatever. Okay. Me for two? Try me again. I double dog dare you. Try me again. Seriously need upgraded armor. Oh my god. 
Make it available. Line racks. Okay, cool. That's fine, but... Like, seriously, right now... Really? <laughs> Screw it. Alright. You're gonna get a face full of fire here. Yep, there's the asteroids. Beautiful. Freaking... Kendra doesn't trust me, but I don't know anything about a marker or anything else. This is supposed to be a repair mission. Plain and simple. This mess is the asteroid defense system. I can fix these boards, but the main power routing is shot. You're gonna have to reroute them manually through at least three junction boxes to activate the primary cannon. Oh, but first, you need to activate the atrium elevators from bridge security. You can use them to get to the junction boxes. By the way, Isaac, be careful. I saw something out there. I don't know what. I only got a glimpse. It was big. Really big. I think you know something. Oh, okay. Can't set him on fire. Can I at least... Mining law. Name down. Supervisor, second engineer. Death toll is mounting. Known dead so far. A lot of people. Holy crap. Alright, a lot of dead people. Shit! Stand back! What the fuck? Oh, that one was dead when I sealed the pod. These things don't die easily. Did you just waste an escape pod? I'm holding a flamethrower, man! You just seriously wasted an escape pod! What is this, Spaceballs? Come on! Oh, 
Wait, 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 wait. wait. Was well, that the girlfriend? Elevator, yes. Patriot elevators are now online. Okay. Space madness? Alright, we got no nodes. No point being here. That growling is not a good thing, seeing ya. You'll all be tried for mutiny. Kind, make them listen to reason. Settle down, then. Hold him. By maritime law, Article 5469, I hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. The marker must be delivered to the church. Terence, please. I'm sorry, Ben, but I can't let you do this. Traitor. Take. Hold his head. Murder up! Hold him! He's dead. No, it was an accident. I, I had to stop him. Arrest the doctor. You had to stop him by jamming that oversized needle into his eye. That's how I stop people. Jam something long and sharp into their eye socket, am I right? Alright. More ripper blades. Definitely safe. Contact beam. That whispering man. Something to increase chances of survival. Oh yeah, you're definitely. Gravity plating is malfunctioning. Keep an eye out for any kind of distortion effect coming from the floor. It could be dangerous. Like that? What happens when you step on one? Okay, do not step on the gravity plating. Understood.
this thing. rerouted. I'm making some progress with the tracking grid. One of the cannons is giving me a hard time. Keep moving. Yes, sir.
freaking save. Just let the aliens do what they want from here on out. This is a shit show and we're tired of it.
It's me and some floating saw blades versus uh, whatever the hell these things are. Power transfer to the ADS. Okay. Primary astrogation power has been rerouted. Look, I don't know about you, but I think I'm seeing things. Uh, My head's pounding still. Chapter I don't know. Just stay sharp, four? okay? I believe four. Uh, we just we just met up with the captain in the uh, uh, in the uh, the, the hall, the the helm. Yeah, the the main. Uh, I cannot remember it for the life of me. Basically, though, just finished doing a hell of a lot of repairs. Now we're trying to get the Ponds Array online and the anti asteroid defense system. So, much appreciating the follow up. Isaac, so. listen up. I've gone over the MedSci reports. These things are biorecombinators, they take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others, well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it, too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, you know, honestly, I played a little, like, half an hour of the third one, uh, and then I got distracted by other stuff. I play, I, I'm pretty sure I beat this one when it came out. So honestly, I, I really don't remember anything about it. And pretty obviously so, as it's been pretty much freaking me the hell out. <laughs> and I'm not remembering really anything of this one. And I really don't remember the second one. So I'm gonna have to, I have the first and the third one on my computer right now. So I was just like, you know what? I have been freaked out for a while. That's, uh, Change that. Not good. Tell me I don't have to go out there. I don't, but can I? No, I, I can't. Seriously, these whispers. These whispers are so not cool, man. <laughs> Entering vacuum. I didn't, yeah, I honestly, I didn't even know that there was a player on any of them, to be honest. I, I, alright, I never gave this series the Credit. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you do the same. Please. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Did not reload that gun! Seriously? Man, I'm freaked out by them just talking about, like, oh, the answer, and blah, 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 like, just talking all this nonsense with They start calling my name and crap? Seriously. Not cool at all, man. <laughs> the fact that he just said they are animating all this dead tissue, I'm even more so adamant about stepping on every single corpse I see from here on out. Hurts. That works. But yeah, no, I am so not cool with them actually beckoning me. <laughs> Text log. Captain's log, initial infection vectors. It's, less than, it's been less than an hour, but they've spread fast. Flight deck was the first to go after the shuttle crashed. 
Now almost entirely overrun, we've lost at least half the medical deck and about a quarter of engineering. No information yet from cargo or planet ops, which suggests bad news. This is not what I expected. Kaden. And I found an audio log, or, or like a, it was an audio, or a, I think it was an audio log. Hallucinate on the second when I walk into a freezer and see bodies randomly appear on the wall. Man! Seriously? That, I'm, oh man, you are seriously making me rethink moving into the second and third games after this one, man. That is... So not cool. <laughs> so not cool. Like, the fact that this game starts you off, like, first chapter, you're going through an infirmary. And a board. Like, two of my least favorite things to walk through in real life. Like, starts you there. Like, and then... Hallucinating random ass dead bodies and stuff. Um, and like random hallucinations. Like, yeah. <laughs> There's gotta be. A, I guess I can't get up there till I like shut off the gravity panels. Dude, nope. heard you. I heard you, you son of a bitch. Where are you? It. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you just stay right there. I'm gonna just reload here and uh, started out in Dead Space 2 in a chamber full of dead necromorphs trying to kill me while I run away straight at the beginning. So pretty much Dead Space 1 was like what just oh here's some atmosphere. Let's let's get you real scared of you know these Necromorphs and where they can show up, and let's give you some atmosphere. And then it's like, ah, uh, you know what, dude? Second game, Asteroid you know who they are, and you know why you need to be afraid. All right, just we've got enough power, run. but the ADS cannon's order targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. I need you to aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. What? Take the elevator to the top oh, of the no. ship and head for the cannon pit. No, no, no. Oh, that thing it cannot be allowed to live. All right, maybe if I can just lure him into the ground. Again. Alright, so good to know we're right off the freaking bat that we're still in the Oh my god, where the hell is this coming from? How many did that thing reanimate? I saw two. Actually, this is, it's on PC, um, but uh, I started it. Uh, I started it last or uh, Monday night, and uh, I was trying to get the hang of it with mouse, mouse and keyboard. But apparently, when they ported this game, they just said, "No, you really should not play it with a mouse and keyboard because the control was abysmal. I was getting a mouse pointer like here and here." It was a total shit show, so luckily, PC controller. So, <laughs> luckily I had access to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it did say press A. Um, I don't know, with the light or whatever. I'm using the Logitech. Basically, Xbox controls. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it, it was... 
it handled like absolute crap for me to try to use the uh, try to use the mouse and keyboard. But uh, uh, I switched over to controller. I mean, it's not like my first choice or anything. I prefer mouse and keyboard, but I was getting all these weird bugs with the mouse pointer. It just totally wasn't wasn't working for me. <laughs> It does feel right up my up my alley though, with uh, the sheer like, okay, here you go, you're in the middle of nowhere, survive. Like that, that that's that's the ultimate for me right there. So, and the fact that like the worst enemy is a road is on other people, I like that. Oh. messes with me even more that I cannot understand the majority of what she's saying. <laughs> gotcha, okay, so. So it's one persistent map. Oh, okay, well, I'd assume so, yeah, one persistent map for everybody. And yeah, I think day one, you know, just kind of trying to be my own cartographer and craft, just find my way. <laughs> Like, oh look, a lighthouse. Avoid that. Oh look, a small town. Avoid that. Just note it for later. Oh, that's never a good noise. Isaac, you're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you get torn to pieces. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Warning! You're gonna do backflips and shit. Alright. Let's do backflips and shit. Alright. Entering vacuum. Where are these ass? Entering zero gravity. Okay, I'm guessing I gotta hide behind these. Warning. Multiple impacts detected across the starboard hull. Gotcha. But I can recharge my oxygen. That's good. Can I take two at once? I'm totally not digging this part. Okay, cool, alright. Alright, so I just need to hang tight. It looks... Ooh! Alright, maybe I can take two. Can I take two at a time? No, I cannot. I can barely take this one. Do I have any oxygen tanks? I got a couple. Alright. Go, 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 go! Hurry up, Isaac! Alright, I'm gonna try to take two. I'm gonna try to take two. I think I can! Yes, I could! Okay. Isaac, you're not out of oxygen for another, like, 30 seconds, dude. Stop freaking out. And we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't have the time for this. Oh no! Oh shit! 
Alright, I need that oxygen tank right behind me. Alright, just water. Okay, so far so good. I can do it. I can make it. Go, 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 go. This is the first time I've needed an oxygen tank, so I was kind of worried about that, because I've pretty much just been discarding them the whole time. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, please, override. That's the nice. You're in the pit. The cannon's a mass driver, so it should punch through anything flying at it. Keep an eye on the hull's integrity. Too many of those things get by, and we're dead. I think I've almost got the system prepared. Just find me a little more time. Get through. 